Central Texas keeps growing. We know the traffic yep. not going to be getting any better around here. Uh-uh, at all. But we're going to focus on a solution for you this morning because we'll tell you something you don't know, right, about traffic. Thousands of people drive into Austin every single day from Bastrop on Highway 71. So it's not just Bastrop in the outlining areas of Austin. We're talking about how this is a bigger route with lots of people traveling. That's right. A lot of people use 71 to get out to Houston. Yeah. I, I've, I've heard the argument that 71 has less signal lights than if you go uh, on 290 just oh. north. Yeah, so it's a popular route. And just to give you some perspective of how this road has grown, the number of drivers has increased. On this two and a half mile stretch of 71 between County Road 206 and Highway 21 from around 30,000 drivers in 2013. Now that number has jumped to 37,000 in 2017. And right now, TxDOT, they are finalizing plans for this stress. But you know what? It comes with a bit of a catch here. People who live and kind of work along that part of the road, they're going to have to move. So our Candy Rodriguez is looking into this a little deeper. She's live in Cedar Creek with a closer look at the impacts. Hi there, Candy. Amanda, good morning. Traffic is starting to pick up here along Highway 71, and we're near the intersection of Highway 71 and FM 1209. This is where Texton is proposing to get rid of those traffic signal lights, put in an overpass, construct new frontage roads, and add shared use paths. But these improvements require some right of way, leaving some property owners in the area wondering what will happen to them if their property is needed to make these improvements a reality. Rebecca Killingsworth has cut generations of hair. He's in high school now. The town and country barbershop owner has been doing it for 30 years. Her shop's walls covered with memories of days gone. But the future of the shop is unclear. The customers are wanting to know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? That's because Rebecca falls within the nearly 33 acres of additional right-of-way needed for Textot's project. This could displace seven neighbors and 25 businesses. Well, I know that's uh, progress. But it's not only Rebecca's shop. Her home is on the line, too. She lives right next door. I mean, I don't know what's going to really happen. She admits she started looking and isn't sure what the future holds for her or whether she'll stay in the area. I haven't started biting my nails. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I am, I am concerned. I mean, I mean, how can you replace this? I'm praying to the good Lord. TxDOT says relocations could begin early next year. Construction is set to begin summer 2024. Tonight, there is a public hearing at the Bastrop Chamber of Commerce starting at 530. Amanda? All right, Candy, so we were talking about some of those homeowners and business owners, you know, maybe those who didn't plan on moving. Is TxDOT going to be helping them out in any way? Good question. TxDOT says they will be working with those property owners that are affected that may be displaced. They say they do have programs in place for people who may be displaced due to projects like this one. And some of those programs include financial assistance, whether it helps with reimbursing your expenses to move your personal property or finding replacement housing. Back to you. All right. Another popular route for rigs, too. You just saw that one behind Candy's live picture. Another